Hmm. BSL 1820. I wonder what I'm on about. I'm on about that. A battery for my battery drill. This is a Tarchi battery drill. Unfortunately, these batteries are quite pricey. So I thought, well, let's take it apart and see whether or not a cell is down. It might be as simple as just replacing a cell, you see, and, and this battery will be back up and running. So let's go into the overhead camera and uh, have a look what we can do with that. Oh, there it is. Okay, and there is the battery. So first of all, we're going to take it apart. There we are. So I've got my torque screwdriver here, and I just need to... It's four screws. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So let's remove them first. Let's bring this microphone a bit closer so you can hear my beautiful voice. No comment. <laughs> All right, so uh, next one. So that's one. I'm looking for some magnetic dishes, and uh, I've got some in my workshop, but they're really grubby. Do you really want to use them in the videos? I mean, they're really, really grubby. I mean, they covered no for start, so I don't really want them in the office at all. So, okay, on to the fourth screw. Quite, quite tight. So I suppose they've never been cut. They've never, they've never come off before. Get my worms out in a minute. Right, so that's four screws. You know what I could do here? A magnet. A magnet on the end of a stick. That'd be quite handy. Anyway. All four screws have been undone. Now, is the whole thing going to explode on me and just uh, fly out everywhere? Has the actual circuit got damp, for instance, or something like that? Oh, crikey. <laughs> All right. It's in the state of that. Oh, my giddy arm. I don't think it's meant to look like that, is it? No. It's very dusty. Very dusty. It's because I've got a brush here. But me. There we go. I suppose it gets used in the workshops. So it's not surprising, really, is it? Right, so it's one, it's one two, and crikey. That's got wet. Found the problem. It's got wet. There. You can see it there. Corrosion. The battery has got wet. I didn't really. That's what's done it. Obviously, when it gets wet, you see, it will arc out and it will uh, create, uh, well, a short for a start, but also um, corrosion. So, a corrosion over here, and I've got corrosion over there. I imagine those cells are put. So, we need to be able to remove it. How do we do that? Got this link wire there. Does the whole thing pop out? I don't know yet. Might be lucky, there might be, you know, a cell that's okay. If not, it is a new battery job. I don't really want to buy a new battery. You know what it's like, and, you know, these things they cost money, don't they? Sometimes it's cheaper to buy another drill. Okay, so that is literally just stuck into the base of the actual. Well, no, it's not even stuck, is it? It's just literally under pressure. Oh dear, obviously, as you can see there, I must have allowed it to get wet. The circuit looks okay. Hopefully it's not short or down. Alright, there's going to be no charge in there whatsoever. So even putting a char um meter against it. Oh my god. Right. Even putting the meter against it isn't gonna help. So there'll be nothing in there. <laughs> what the hell have I been doing? Yeah. And you've got to be careful, you don't want to go like, you know, short out at all, because obviously they're quite high amperage batteries. But not at the moment, because I would say they're probably, well, nothing at the moment. Do it getting the old, um, because they'll be welded on, they will. So they'll be sold, they'll be the welded on. Not with an arc welder, no. Right, so what we've got going on here. Right, that doesn't look good, does it? That doesn't look good. Oh, I don't think there's any reviver in that. Oh, that's unfortunate. I was hoping to be able to go buy some, you know, a cell. But I didn't realise I've, I've allowed it to get wet. Like a fool. I don't know. They're not meant to get wet, you see. But there's insulation stuff that on the side here. Stay of it. 
So that is not likely. Now, what I can do is stick this on my lithium charger. You can't just put power into it, it has to be on a charge circuit, but do it on the individual cell basis and see whether or not I can get any of these cells back. That might be for another video. As you see here, there's corrosion here. Um, it's probably shorted something out, I imagine. Is there any voltage there at all? I've got a meter here, so I've got onto um, DC voltage direct. Let's have a look, see what we, if there is anything there at all. I've got my doubts. All right, so that's the positive. Wait till you can see it. And that's negative. Hmm, there is some voltage there. Okay. We have 15 point... Okay, 15.16 volts. So, it's not completely dead. I haven't tried putting it on charge. So, I haven't took it off charge or anything like that. So, I think it would be a very good idea. But we do have voltage. The thing is, this drill never holds its voltage. It could be all this flipping corrosion, you see, just sucking the life out of the battery. Might get away with just um, giving it a clean. Let's take that. <laughs> God's sake, look at it. <laughs> Oh god, giddy hell, oh giddy hell. Alright, in individual cell bases. I might do another video on this on, so I've actually charged it, to see what uh, I get out of each cell. That has, oh god, yeah. alright, there's literally nothing at all like that, oh wow. Nothing hardly at that at all. And neutral, that's that way around. So that's live. Neutral, neutral. Live. It's really some voltage, isn't there? We've got three point three point seven volts in that one. These are probably three point seven volt cells. Oh, that's what we've got here. It's 18 volt drill. So one, two, three, four, five. Oh, crikey. Look at that battery. This one swelled. That one's damaged. Which is the first one I just tried to... It's dead. It's got continuity in about here. Hang on, just a second. Let's just get a bit of a... Let's clean it up on the end here. Oh my god, what am I doing with my flipping knife? No, there's nothing there. It's obviously got some... Ooh, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know. The reason why I'm, um, con uh, not confused, but a bit bemused, is because I've got voltage going right through the whole lot. So th there's a circuit there. Clearly, I'm not getting connection. I put this uh, meter on. Not at all. Nope. So put that there to there. We have fifteen volts. More than getting to feed the mini volts. There's, there's, there's continuity in, in that cell. That cell definitely looks bad. Different colour for a start. Right, so let's bring it around. How are we doing for time? Nine minutes. All right, let's try this cell here. So that's live, neutral, because it's wired in series, you see. Otherwise, if that's these are 3.7 cell uh, volt cells, so uh, 3.5, 3.6, yeah, six times. Three, three. Yeah, they're probably three point seven volt cells, I imagine. So we've got nothing on that one. It's in mini volts, There's nothing there. There's circuit, but that's about as far as it goes. And then we've got that one there, which is that is alive. And we've got see three point eight volt in that one. Uh -huh. it's actually looking a bit more hopeful now. So that's gonna be 
same again. Oh, we've got another one. Yes, I'm not getting the connection. Oh, that's because I'm in the wrong place there. I'll try that up there to there. 3.8 volts. Uh, 3.8 volts. Three, okay, we've got one cell down. All right. So I should be able to solder in a new cell on this end. And if you look at what's probably happening is with this water ingress here, it's probably shorted out and overheated this battery and damaged this battery on the end of this cell here. It's lithium cell. Now, in, can you look here? You can see those. If you can see that very well, those three are sort of more of a sort of brighter reddy, pinky colour, and that one's a bit more muddy looking. It's dull. It's also got dimpling on it, on like it's got hot here. So this, this cell is definitely down. So overall, across the whole um, uh, battery, uh, we are getting uh, 15 odd volts across the whole lot. Yeah, for 15 volts, and we need 18, which makes sense because we're down one battery, which is three point, uh, around 3.8 volts, 3.7, 3.8 volts, and that would bring me up to the 18 volts required to run the drill. So that's what we're going to do. Okay. Complicated, it was difficult as we first thought, so I've just got to find batteries. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. <laughs> we're back. So, we pulled it apart, we found out our problem. Now, it could be a case of spending what, a 10 or on a single cell, or spending nearly 100 um, euros on, in some cases, 150 euros one place for trying to sell these flipping batteries for. <laughs> it's ridiculous. So, if I can get away with just replacing that cell, the battery's back, you know, I've got two batteries for that drill again. So, that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a new batteries, new cell for this battery. Anyway, maybe you've had a similar problem where you've, well, got a laptop, for instance, and it's got a cell down. You know, and you're scrapping the whole thing or buying a whole new battery because of one cell. Seems silly. It still sounds very environmental to me, does it? Does it to you? Leave it in the comments down below. But while you're at it, leave me your comments. Please boot the old like button because it helps the channel, you know. But also the subscribe and the little bell icon because then you get one plus video in your pocket every time I upload another video. Pulling something else apart. This is an obvious fix. That is. Toodaloo.